What up guys and welcome to Diversion, your personal distraction from reality. My name is Charlie and in today's video we're going to be checking out Sports Scramble on the Oculus Quest. So Sports Scramble is a fun sports game that offers three types of sports. We have tennis, bowling, and baseball. However, the kicker with this game is that it offers an optional scramble mode that puts a zany twist on how you play the game. Take for example baseball. Instead of hitting with a regular bat, how about using a fish instead? Or why hit a baseball when you get a home run hitting a frisbee disc? The number of different items available in this game is actually pretty high and it gets kind of weird. Like bowling with a pineapple down a one foot wide lane in a bowling alley. There are far too many things to cover in this video, but hopefully I'll show most of them. I'll provide some timestamps in the description so you can find the sporting event or which sports you'd rather uh, watch. So. But now before we get into some gameplay, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification because I have plenty more uploads coming up in the future and you don't want to miss any of them. Like always, let's take a diversion from reality and check this game out. What up guys, so here we are in Sports Cramble. This game is a fun game. Like I said, we have tennis, bowling and baseball we're going to cover all of them there's many different ways you can play normal or you can play scrambled mode which is kind of wacky and zany and some crazy things that you'll get to do so let's go through each one of them um, i'm going to skip the tutorial i'll do i'll be the i'll do that for you kind of tell you how to play the game as we go so first off the bat there is a hall of champions where this you can see you can collect trophies depending on what things you achieve versus mode where you can play with your friends we got baseball back here, bowling, and tennis. So let's start off with tennis. tennis. Have you guys check that okay, out. Time to get ready. So there is training. One thing that's nice about this game is it offers uh, plenty of training for you. When you go in here, I'll give you an example. You got many different uh, areas that you'll learn how to throw the ball, how to hit the ball, what the scrambling does with the different type of balls and different rackets and things like that. So definitely check that out. But let's do uh, some quick play. I'll show you guys how we play the game here. So we'll do, I'll st start off first. We'll edit here. We'll do traditional mode. Okay, right now, of course, I'm playing against a computer. I'm gonna play against friends. So I'm the one to serve. So before I serve, I'll show you. We have two different serve. ways that you can serve the ball. You can either let it go back and forth, kind of like a tee ball, and just hit it on your own, or you can grab it with your hand and toss the ball up and serve it that way. Uh, by default, the trigger button is what you're going to use to grab the ball. This is going to be in every sports game, whether it be tennis, baseball, or uh, bowling. Will be the trigger, or you can change it to the grip button. So those are the main ones you have. Of course, swing the swing it, swing the racket to hit the ball. Just like tennis, uh, you only have, you won't need to move around. This is your safe zone right here, as you can see the red and black. All right, so I start. Here comes I'll the gra serve. Grab the ball here. All right. Serve it up. So if you nice want to do slide. a spin like that, I just, of course it was out. 15. But if you do it, if you have the racket this way and you slam it down, that will put a spin on the ball for you. Come on. Let's go. Put a little spin on it. Oh. That was embarrassing. And the serve. There you go. I'll make up for it. It's a there we go, there we go. Nice. 30, 15. And the serve. Oh, he's got a spin. There we go. That, stay in. Oh. Just a bit outside. 15, 40. Here comes the serve. Oh, nice serve. All right, come on. We got to win this one. There we go. There we go. That. 
30, 40. Here comes the serve. Do a little spin. Come on. Nice slice. There we go. You got it. Yeah. Spin. Yeah. Point. Deuce. So that is the traditional way. Let's check out what it means to do the scrambled version, which gets pretty zany. So you can go scramble where the court is actually going to change. The racket will change to different things. Things from like a fish to a pool noodle. And then the ball can change as well. So we're going to do... Let's do easy because that guy was a little hard to do. Uh, we'll do scramble. So points per game. We'll do seven. All right. Scramble easy. Yeah. So it's my serve. I'm going to do traditional serving where I grab the ball and serve it. Serve. But when we get in, you'll start to see icons above the net. When you hit the ball on that, depending on what the icon is, whether it's a, a different kind of racket or a different kind of ball, that's how you change them against the person as you play. Well, you'll see it as we play here. It pops up. There we go. Alright, All right, so now you see you got mystery here, so I'm going to try and hit one of these balls into there, and it's going to change either the ball or the racket depending on... Oh, I missed. Oh, shit. A table tennis so got one. ball is in play. So now you can see it turned into a, a table tennis ball, a ping pong ball. Uh-oh, uh -oh. there we go. So now you can... Oh, she hit the... Here comes a racket check. Uh, that table tennis racket gives you an equipment match. So because... Oh. You see, that was a, a ping pong the whole time. Now, Your because I have a ping pong serve. mallet, I have an advantage. So when I hit the ball, it would actually be more powerful. And the serve. So it's actually good to have the corresponding... And the racket chain. Racket to the corresponding ball, ball you have. it. So I have a, ba a baseball bat Just now. A bit outside. So hopefully get a baseball and that'll help supercharge the the weapon. And the serve. Alright. Let's see if you missed it. So I'm gonna hit the ping pong ball with the baseball bat. What do we got? Your opponent has a golf club. So now they have a golf club. So let's see. There you go. Nice. Service chain. It's now your serve. Okay. This is supposed to be like kind of wacky. Uh, here comes the serve. So right now we got the ping pong ball here. Ah, oh, missed. Oh, what is it changing it's an to? Accelerator ball. Accelerator ball. Okay. Seems like it gets faster and faster as we go. Ah. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh, that was a zinger. Here comes the serve. You get rid of this ball. So maybe the right one will have a different. That's terrible. Well, let's try that again. Yeah. Here comes the serve. So let's see if we can get the mystery right one. Oh, I just missed it. Let's hit the left one. Oh, some more. What do we got? Here what do we comes got? a racket change. Rackets turn it. Got a pro racket. All right. So the pro racket is a little better than the traditional one. A little more power. Service change. You hit a little harder. Your opponent is now serving. Ooh. So this one's gonna change the court when we hit this one. And the serve. She got it. The net's raised. Oh. So this was a higher net. Get over, get over. I'm getting close. She got it. And the racket change. You've got a fish? A fish? <laughs> oh. Yeah, whack it with the fish. <laughs> Just slaps. Here comes a racket change. You've got a pool noodle. Pool noodle. This. Oh. 
So a pool noodle works best with a uh, beach volleyball. So hopefully get one of those. And the sir. And the racket change. You've got a cricket bat. Cricket bat, all right. Let's give it some spin here. Oh. It's a golf ball. It's with these little balls. You know. You can't get it. You can't get oh, it. Uh, I'm just setting her up. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yes. Point, you've won the match. Congratulations. Let's jump in the bowling. I really enjoy the bowling one. Bowling. Okay, so in tennis you saw that you can do traditional. So I'm, I'm assuming you guys will understand you know, how traditional works with everything. So we're just gonna go straight scramble, just seeing so an idea how how this game is. But with every different sport, you can do traditional style. So we're gonna do a scramble on the bowling one. <clears throat> you can see you got your ball holder here, it comes from the left around you. So it's a, this is actually kind of a speed game rather than back and forth. So we're gonna be going at the same time, we're gonna go fast as we can. You kind of see the wackiness that will come along. We got the ball here. Of course you hold the trigger. And you let go of the trigger at the, the time you need to in order to roll the ball the proper way. You can also disable the trigger mode. So instead of pulling the, letting go of the trigger at the, the right time to be able to roll the ball, you can have it where it automatically lets go at the time it needs to to make it easier for you know, I remember back back in the Wii days, there would be so many people that, at least if I was playing with, let's say, let's say older, older people, they had a hard time knowing when to let go of the trigger button in order to bowl correctly. So it's nice that that does have that. Come on. So right now I'm only ahead by 200. So you got random things like cheese. Oh. So you got gophers. You got to roll them over. So the bomb's the best. If you can get the bomb to the, down there, it blows. Oh, hit them. Right, this one's a tough. Oh, jeez. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh. Yeah, basketball. Ooh. Okay, sir. Forty-five hundred. What's he got? Come on. We made up by two hundred. Come on. Go football. Come on. Oh! Still ahead, still ahead. Oh. I still won. So I won the first game. I think it is the best of three games. We're going to have three games. As you can see, the, the wackiness. I know there are pineapples that come across here. I haven't seen them yet. We'll see if they come up here. So like I said, this game is... This game is super fun to play with friends. I mean, it is still fun alone, but I think that's one of the main things that makes makes the quest um, so special is be able to play games with other people in the virtual world. And this is one of the, that did not happen. Oh, pineapple. I'm supposed to do this one. Oh! <laughs> Alright. Oh. Some of these ones they they have you do are super hard. Alright. Get down the middle. There we go. Totally slice to the right. This was a bad ball to pick. Oh! Alright, alright. Try a tennis ball here. Ooh. Uh, we'll go to the right side a little bit. Bounce over him. Take that. Right a little bit. Oh! And you can spin the ball. So if you take it, you can rotate your wrist like this, you can do a spin, which I am not really good at. So I don't do it. Even in real life, I do. I'm a, I'm a straight. <sighs> I throw the ball straight down the lane. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, come on, come on. one. Congratulations, you've won. 
I just realized that I am on easy mode. So I can't be too too happy about how well I did. Alright, so there's bowling. Let's do the last one, which is baseball. Alright, so here we are in baseball mode. I also have scramble going on right here. So in this one, so the trigger button is still like I used before to be able to grab. So you use your trigger button to catch the ball. Uh, the catcher is going to throw the ball to you. You catch it with your hand. And then you can open your glove here and use your other hand with the trigger to pick up the ball and throw it. If you look up here in the front, if you use the joystick on your left hand, your glove hand, you can use that to pick where you want to throw the ball. So it doesn't matter how you throw the ball, you're throwing the ball kind of determines more about your speed and not so much the angle or anything like that. That's the purpose of this. Which I kind of appreciate because throwing in VR is still not the best and I definitely prefer this way. So with scramble, I do have to throw the ball through the box of the one I want. So if I throw it here, I'm going to have the opportunity to use uh, the beach ball after this one. So here we go, we'll just throw. So I got the guys that I'm like to go. Your opponent now has a metal bat. So as you can see, the catcher threw the ball to me. So I have the ball right here. If I open it up, I have opportunity to either do the baseball like normal, or I could use this beach ball. So they can't see what I have in my hand until I throw it. So they don't know that I have a beach ball until I, until I release the ball. So we'll do after this, we'll have a fish. So the beach ball, I don't know if it's the best one to choose because there you go, buddy. Out one. Nice catch, man. So now we have the fish. The fish one is definitely the hardest one to hit, I believe, because it, it, just watch. It's all over the place. Strike. Shouldn't even try. That's strike number one. Let's see, we got a football this time. Strike. That's yeah. strike number two. Come on, one more. Right. <laughs> That's the second out. All right, got one more out here. Let's try and get the hockey disc. <sighs> hockey puck, I should say. That's strike number one. Thanks, buddy. All right, here we go. <sighs> strike. That's strike number two. All right, I wanted to hit something. Let's put it right in the middle here. Come on, you got this. Come on. Let's see it. And that was a bad throw. All right. Strike out three. I just that good, I guess. Switch side. All right, so zero. I just need to get one point to win this game because I, like I said, I only have it set for one, one inning here. But I personally, you can you can have both controllers, but I personally like to set my left controller, the one I'm not using to the ground, and then just use both hands to hold this controller. And here's the pitch. Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to hit that. I threw it right at my face. What throw was that? Just playing dirty. Come on. Ah, crank it. Here we go. That's a double. A hockey so stick. Oh, now I got a hockey stick. Let's see how well this one hits. So some of the, oh, he's gonna catch that. Dang. That's out number one. So some of the web, some of the things they give you could be to your advantage or could not, which I, I would think this one, you know, a lot bigger than baseball bat, so it should be a lot easier for me to hit. Foul ball. This is the home run right here. Oh, I shouldn't have hit that. No, no, no. Double, triple. That's got to be. That's a single. Single. You're back to a wooden bat. I don't know about bat. that. Come on. We need at least one on the board. Oh. That's a single. There you go. You there we go. Great job. So there you have it. There's the different types of games you have. I guess you got tennis, baseball and bowling. With all of them you can play traditional mode, you can play multiplayer mode with your friends, decide whether you want to play uh, scramble mode or just regular. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay of Sports Scramble. I do want to say right off the bat, I did find this game to be super fun and super funny. What makes this game the most fun is when you're able to play with your friends. So if you have a friend with the Quest, I highly recommend that you guys get this game together and be able to play it out in the comfort of your own home while you're each other and while you guys are in different towns. And that's really one of the special things about Quest is being able to play a game together um, in the virtual world as if you guys are in the same spot. Be able to play tennis as if you're on the same court. But I highly recommend this game. I think it is, uh, you'll be glad you purchased it, but that's my main opinion of this game. I think it's a, a good buy, but it's up to you. Let me know in the comments below whether or not you're gonna pick this up for yourself. I'd love to hear from you. But other than that, I'm done with this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.